The moment you have to showcase how an SEO strategy is performing to a client is a make or break deal. Painting a clear picture of how your SEO efforts translate into results for their organic ranking becomes your utmost priority. But what happens when you can't get your clients to engage with your SEO reports? An SEO deck can be intimidating, and even more so when you need to include data that is easy to digest and can prove a strategy worthwhile. That's why we decided to give you a key start by sharing necessary data sources, tool, the structure, and main key metrics to help you succeed with your SEO reports. SEO report value. No amount of hours spent in SEO will pay off under the client's perspective, more so if they don't understand the results. A well-mapped SEO report is your ultimate ally to develop a strong digital marketing strategy based on insightful results and conclusions. Integrate the best data points to pinpoint areas of improvement. Keep your client engaged in continuing investing in organic marketing efforts. Forecast performance trends and growth for website traffic, online presence, and sales. Evaluate top performing content and pages for other digital channel strategies such as email, social media, and pay-per-click. If you want to know more about leveraging SEO into your digital marketing strategy, take a look at our past webinar series. It's all about structure. A well-developed SEO report must match the strategy objective. One of the most common objectives of an SEO strategy is improving a website's organic ranking, which also targets the goal of brand awareness. The more audiences view a website, the higher the organic traffic and engagement. Bottom line, relevant traffic is what converts into qualified leads and sales. Here is something to give you a better visual. Now, when talking about segmenting for structures, these are the components to consider. Ranking shows how a site ranks in the SERPs comparing previous months. The most essential aspect to highlight are general changes for the domain, as well as the keyword strategy. Domain ranking conveys the overall improvement of ranking for a site. Pro tip, average position metrics from Google Search Console fit like a glove. Make sure this number shows a decrease rather than an increase, given we are talking about position on the search. Organic keyword ranking. While the average position shows a general overview of ranking, it is necessary to communicate how a specific keywords of a strategy are performing. We recommend using Arif's reports. In the subsection of organic keywords in the Site Explorer section, you'll find a chart for all keywords that the site is currently ranking for and the position in the SERPs. Pro tip. Download monthly data to serve as a follow-up on performance, especially as a comparison month over month. Exposure. Refers impressions of how many times your business is being placed in front of audiences through SERPs. Impressions mark how well you are ranking. Ideally, you want to be ranking on the first page of the SERP. Average positions 30 or higher will not cut it in the competitive world of organic ranking. Traffic. A big part of this are meta tags which need to be appealing enough to drive relevant traffic to a site. Learn more about meta tags and their role in an SEO strategy in our video. For optimal meta tag performance, you should keep an eye on clicks, represents each time a user clicks on your site from an impression on the SERP. Users, defined by Google Analytics as users that have initiated at least one session during the day train. And sessions. The duration a user is actively engaged on your website, apps, or more. Engagement, a metric that is helpful to gauge the quality of traffic. Engagement involves two KPIs that can help you understand audience behavior on your website when it comes to user experience. Bounce rate, represent each time a user visited your site looking for what they were seeking for, but consequently left because they did not find it relevant to their query. And average session duration gives you an average on how long a user remains on your site. This KPI is important because the longer users stay on your website, the higher engagement it denotes, meaning more users have found your site content useful for their search. Conversions. Despite the common belief that SEO serves only to improve organic ranking, the end goal for any business is the sales or lead it receives from this effort. If you set your goals properly in Google Analytics for your SEO strategies from the get-go, it will be easier to attribute the volume of conversions to organic efforts. Takeaways 
Reporting can make or break a client's perspective on how they experience SEO marketing, and staying on top of how innovative and knowledgeable your reporting is will make the longevity of your relationship. With this, you should better understand how to give your SEO report the boost they need. Make sure you take enough time to fully understand the data and show it as simple and concisely as possible. Which other elements do you think are key to improving your SEO reports? Let us know in the comments below. We post videos every week, so make sure to subscribe and activate the bell to get notified about our latest videos. See you for the next one!